Allah is with the one who seeks forgiveness. Allah is with the one who is patient. Allah is with the one who prays. Allah says, in Allah ma'asabirin. Allah is with the patient. This is where Al-Hafiz ibn Rajab rahimahullah, he said that I have studied all of the verses and the narrations where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions his ma'iyah. He mentions his being with a person. And every single verse or narration where Allah mentions his being with a person shows that that person has lost something. And so he said that Allah never takes something away from you except that he gives you something in return. And the best thing Allah can give you when he takes something away from you is what? Himself. Allahu Akbar. The best thing Allah can give you when he takes something away from you is himself. But Allah never leaves you empty-handed. If Allah takes something away from you, a blessing from you, Allah gives you something, but the best thing he can give you is himself. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so every single time Allah mentions his ma'iyah, his being with a person, even in the narration when the Prophet wasallam mentioned that a person would come on the day of judgment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, I was sick and you did not visit me. Can you imagine? Allah is saying, I was sick and you did not visit me. And the person would say, Ya Allah, how could I visit you? You are the Lord of the worlds. What does that even mean? You know, on the day of judgment, everything is pretty straightforward. That's one of the conversations where a person would be shocked. Ya Allah, you were sick. I didn't visit you. What does that even mean? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Didn't you know that so and so was sick? But you did not visit him. And had you visited that person, you would have found me with him. You would have found me with that person. So Allah never takes a blessing from you except he gives you something in return. If you are in a hardship, you rediscover a meaningful relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you better believe that that hardship is the best thing that ever happened to you. If this hardship brings you closer to Allah, that is the best thing that can ever happen to you, that could ever happen to you. Whatever the hardship was, whatever that problem was, if that brought you closer to Allah, and if that made you rediscover Allah, trust me on the day of judgment, you will not regret it. You will be happy for that. So, don't be sad. Don't be depressed when something bad happens to you. Come back to Allah. Come closer to Allah. Make your connection with Allah even stronger. Allah will give you better than what Allah has taken away from you.